Hey guys, it's Max here. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through one of the most popular, complete, off-grid solar kits that we offer. The reason kits like this are becoming so popular is because you can use them in a ton of different ways. We commonly see kits like this used to power everything from a shed, a garage and workshop, to maybe a cottage or an off-grid cabin. We even see them used in mobile applications like RVs, schoolies, maybe van life as well. So it makes a lot of sense for many different people to invest in a system like this. Also, these systems are expandable. You can add more inverters, you can add more batteries. So over time, as your needs increase, you can grow your system along with that. I'm not gonna spend any time in this video talking about how to actually set up a system like this, because when you order from Shop Solar Kits, you get your schematic, you get your diagram, you get your step-by-step -step instructions. We also have video content that goes over that as well. So what this video is going to be about is what you can actually power with a system like this. So you can understand if this is something that's going to make sense for you. Let's quickly just go over the specs of a whole system like this. So this is a 24 volt system, but it also comes in 48 volts. This battery has around 4,200 watt hours of usable power in it. This is a 3,000 watt, 120 volt inverter. You can get two inverters and parallel them together if you wanna get your split phase output. You can get roughly 2,000-ish watts of solar into this unit here. And with a 4,000 watt battery, then if you were in perfect sun conditions, it would take about two hours, maybe three hours or so to fully charge up your battery if it was dead. As you can see in the video, we're gonna talk about how you can use the grid to actually power up your system, but you're not able to sell power back to the grid. Before we get in and start actually demonstrating what a system like this can power, um, whenever you order your kit, please follow the instructions and the diagram for your specific kit. This is not a properly set up system. I have no fuses, um, there's no bus bar, there's no disconnects. What I've done is just put it together quickly here in the office so that I can kind of film this video and demonstrate. But yeah, please, whenever you order your kit, make sure to follow those instructions for your kit and use all the parts and pieces included with your system. All right, so in order for a kit like this to be useful in a bunch of different ways, you need to be able to charge it up other than just with solar panels. So right here, I've got a solar generator. We're gonna plug the system into the solar generator here to see if we can start charging up the battery through a system like this. This can be a solar generator. This could be a diesel or a gas generator. This also simulates as if you were plugging it into the grid. So a system like this, you can't actually sell power back to the grid, but you can use the grid to charge up your system. So we can hear the fans kick on. We are starting to charge up the battery with this generator here. What's cool about a system like this is you can set it so that once your battery reaches a certain percentage of charge, let's say it's going down, you're not getting enough sun in, maybe it's overcast or maybe it's nighttime, then you can set it so that your gas, your diesel generator, your solar generator, or the grid can start charging back up your battery. We've now got the panels run outside that's currently charging up our system here. So we know that we can charge it up in multiple ways. We can use the solar panels, we can use the grid or a generator. Now let's see if we can charge it and use it at the same time. So I've got this 10,000 BTU air conditioner here. This is one of the most popular ones I found on Amazon. So while we're charging our system, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and see if it works. All right, so we are inputting, oh, you can hear the condenser kick on. So we are inputting power into our system and we're using power at the same time. So before we go and start actually testing appliances, I wanna talk about the different ways that you can actually take advantage of a system like this. So let's say you've got a shed, a garage, a barn, a workshop, something like this that you wanna power off grid. Kits like this are super useful. Those four places that I mentioned, a shed, a garage, workshop, a barn, they tend to be also on the grid, right? And you just wanna lower your bill. You set up a system like this and you take the plug and then you run that into the grid. What you're gonna end up doing is powering that entire workshop or your garage or your shed off of this system here. Odds are that will never touch your electrical bill again. The only time it might is if you have multiple days without sun 
or let's say you're somewhere like me and your solar panels get covered in snow and you don't go wipe off your panels for a couple of days, then the grid will come and charge up your battery without you needing to worry about it, right? So this is a way, even if you're on grid, to take advantage of an off-grid system like this. If this is gonna be a fully off-grid system for you, if you're nowhere near the grid, you can't attach whatsoever, the system's gonna work perfectly. You do need to plan it out a little bit differently though. You might wanna add more solar panels to your system. You might wanna start with an actually a bit of a larger battery bank so that in case you have multiple days without sun, you're not screwed because you don't have the grid to tie into and charge your battery back up. We've already shown though that a gas or a diesel or even a solar generator will work to back up this system. But if you don't have one, then you'll just need to plan out your system a little bit differently and make sure that you have enough reserves with your system. We've got our full DIY solar essentials, which goes in depth about how to actually plan out an off-grid system. Um, I'll link that below if you wanna check that out. So probably the Two most common things that people want to know if they're able to power with a system like this. Can they power a fridge and can they power an air conditioner? So let's test. We'll take our fridge, we'll take our air conditioner. There we go. We're powering both a fridge and an air conditioner at the same time without issue. All right, so it's nearly 6 p.m. and I'm about to leave the office. I'm going to keep this fridge plugged into the system overnight and we'll see if this system can power the fridge all night. It's important to note that we are leaving at around 26.9, almost 27 volts. Arriving here the next day, it's 9.30 in the morning and we are at 26.2 volts. So. Ran our fridge and the inverter all night. It shot up to about 43 watts that the fridge is taking to run. All right, so I've gone around the office and just collected a few things. I've got two lights. I'm charging two batteries here, one for a cordless drill, one for a cordless saw. Still powering the fridge here the whole time. And we're taking roughly 80 watts. So if we look at a system like this, this battery can hold roughly 41, 4,200 watt hours of power, which means this system can charge everything here, be running it nonstop for over two full days before you would need to charge it up at all. We can also run a kettle, a microwave, we can run bigger power tools, um, fans, uh, shop vacs. I mean, you name it, a system like this is gonna be able to power it. You can see how a system like this is gonna to start to work in a lot of different scenarios. Something like an RV or a schoolie where you'll be running a fridge and freezer constantly, lights semi-constantly, air conditioner semi-constantly, larger appliances like a kettle or a microwave semi-consistently. Something like this is gonna work perfectly for you, right? That's on a mobile application. Maybe a cabin or a cottage, right? Most of the time, what you're needing to power continuously is something like a fridge, and then maybe some lights semi-consistently, powering tools, those type of things. Something like this is gonna work perfectly. So as you can see, a kit like this is super versatile. Doesn't take up a huge footprint. Mount this to the wall, connect it to a battery, run cables out to your panels, and you're pretty much done. It'll work perfectly in a cabin, a cottage, a workshop, a garage. It can also work in your mobile application like RV schoolies and van life. Hope you understand a little bit better about kits like this, why they're so popular, and how you might be able to use it in your current situation. The most important thing I want you to take away is that while this is an off-grid kit, you can take advantage of a system like this even for your on-grid workshop or your on-grid shed. You can set this up independently of the grid and then use the grid as a backup power source for this system. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out or check out the links below.